Hello friends. In this problem, a quarter circle is given, and inside this quarter circle, we have a full circle and one semicircle. This semicircle and full circle touches to each other at this point, and this line, that is a v, radius of quarter circle, is tangent to the full circle, and tangent point is e. So this means this touches at point E. Similarly, full circle touches this quarter circle at point F, and radius of these two circles are equal. So this is two unit, and this is also two unit. We have to find the area of light red shaded region. So we have to find area of this region, this region, and this region. So let us see how we can solve this problem. So I will use some construction and Pythagoras theorem to solve this problem. So let us first draw a perpendicular from K to M, from K to on this line that is AC line. And let's call this is KM. So we have drawn a perpendicular KM. So this angle is 90 degree. So angle KMA is equals to 90 degree because this is a perpendicular line. So this is 90 degree. Now angle MAE, that is this angle. This angle will be ninety degree because this is a quarter circle. So this is ninety degree. Now AEK angle AEK, so that is this AEK. This angle will be ninety degree because this is the radius and this is tangent on this circle. So radius. And tangent always makes an angle of 90 degree. That is, they are perpendicular. So this angle is 90 degree. What about this angle? If these three angles are 90, 90, 90, then this has to be 90 because sum of all the angles is 360 degree. This means four times 90. So this angle is 90 degree. That is M K E. So this is M K E. M K E. This means I can say. This is a rectangle, so this one is a rectangle. So now I know M A K E, that is this one, M A, basically I should say M A E K. So this is a M A E K. There is a mistake. So M A E K is a rectangle. Now let us say for this rectangle, this side length is equals to x. A E is equals to x. If this is x. This means M K is also equal to X because parallel sides are equal in a rectangle. So this length is also equal to X. Now let us do another construction. Construct a basically a line that connects point K and point I. So let us construct this. So this is I and this is K. So this is center of the full circle and this is center of semicircle. So if you connect these two lines. It will also pass through the point of contact. That is this point. Why? Because if you consider a tangent, this is a common tangent. And if you draw a perpendicular on this common tangent, this side, this will pass through the center. Similarly, if you draw a perpendicular on this side, it will pass through the center of this circle. So this means I E and this point and K are basically on same line. They are collinear. So It will pass through the point of contact. So KI line will pass through the point of contact. Now radius is given. This means this length is two unit, and this length is also two unit. So this is given in the problem. Now what is length CA? CA is where? So you can find this is C and this is A. So let us say this is the radius of. The quarter circle, and let's call this is R, capital R. So we have assumed that this is equals to capital R. Then what is I M? So this is capital R, and then I M. So that is this length. This is the point is perpendicular point. So this length will be how much? This is two unit. So this will be two unit, and this is two unit. So this. Plus this is four unit. So if you subtract from this, you will get this. So this is R minus four unit. 
so im is r minus 4 so now if you see this triangle triangle i m a this is a right angle triangle i can use pythagoras theorem this means this square plus this square equals to this square so if i use that i can write this is r minus 4 whole square and this is x square this is equals to 4 square if you expand this this is a minus b whole square this is equals to a square plus b square minus 2 a b so 2 times 4 is 8 times r and in this case this should be r so this should be r not x so this is minus 8 r and this is x square and this is 16. now let us take this 16 this side so this 16 and 16 basically cancel so you will have r square plus x square and this is minus 8 r so in this line i have correct and here this should not be x this should be r so let's call this is equation 1 now let us connect fk so this point is k and this point is f so if you connect this two this will also pass through point a point a is the center of quarter circle so f k a all will be on a line so this will pass through point a why because if these two points are touching this means if you make a tangent here on this tangent if you draw a perpendicular this will pass through the bigger circle as well as this will pass through the smaller circle that is a full circle and that's why this is passing through the center of full circle and it is passing through the center of quarter circle so a k f will be on same line as i am saying here also that it will pass through point a so it will pass through this point now what is radius in this case a k plus k f so this is a k and this is k f so this is radius of quarter circle so i can write a k plus k f this is equals to radius of quarter circle which is equals to capital r so this means a k length i can write r minus k f and k f is what so this length k f k f is two unit because this is the radius of full circle so this is r minus 2 so now i know length of a k this length is r minus 2 this length is x and this length is 2 so in this triangle i can again use pythagoras theorem so let us apply pythagoras theorem in triangle a k e that is this triangle i can write this square that is 2 square plus this square that is x square this is equals to a k square and a k is known so i can write a e square that is this square plus k e square that is this one equals to a k square that is this one so let us plug the value a is x so a is x k is 2 so k is 2 and a k is r minus 2 from here so now if you expand this this will be x square plus 4 and this will be a square plus b square plus this in this case minus so this will be minus 2 a b so r square plus 4 minus 2 times r times 2 that is minus 4 r now if you rearrange terms basically 4 gets cancelled out so if you take x square this side so we will have r square minus x square minus 4 r this is equals to 0 so this is my equation 2 so now i have two equations so this is my first equation and this is my second equation two unknowns r and x are unknown and we have two equations so we can always solve for these two unknowns so let us add equation 1 and equation 2 so if you add these two a basically x square gets cancelled so we will have 2 r square and this is 8 minus 8 plus 4 that is my uh, 12 and with a negative sign so minus 12 r equals to 0 let us take 2 r common so i will have r here and this is 6 so either 2 r equals to 0 or r minus 6 equals to 0 radius cannot be 0 so only solution is r minus 6 equals to 0 that is r equals to 6 so i have to neglect this solution because radius cannot be 0 so r equals to 6 is the solution but what we have to find we have to find area of this region So area of red shaded region, this can be written as area of quarter circle, 
so this is the quarter circle minus area of semi circle plus area of full circle so this area plus this area so if you subtract these two area you will get the red shaded area now what is the area of quarter circle so that is 1 by 4 pi r square so this is radius is r and r is 6 so pi by 4 r square minus what is area of semi circle that is pi by 2 r square and in this case r is 2 so pi by 2 r square that is 2 r square area of full circle that is pi r square so this if you can expand so this is 36 divided by 4 that is 9 pi and this is 4 divided by 2 that is 2 pi and this is 4 pi so 4 plus 2 6 pi 9 pi minus 6 pi this is equals to 3 pi so i hope you enjoyed this problem and if you like these problems please share with your friends like this video and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video thank you